Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Thursday, August 22nd, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down this slate of games. We've got some day action, primetime games, West Coast late night games to get into. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, top of the card here in the American League. Battle of first place teams, 105 p.m. Eastern time. New York Yankees hosting the Cleveland Guardians. Gavin Williams going for Cleveland. Garrett Cole for New York. Bronx Bombers anywhere from minus 155 to minus 170 home favorites. Total of eight. Garrett Cole on the hill here. The 33-year-old first rounder out of UCLA for the Yankees. He did have that late start to the season, but... He's been a lot better of late, a uh, little shaky at the get-go, but uh, his last three starts, three earned runs total. That's combined in the last three starts, and he's had 18 strikeouts in his last two times out, so I'm looking to be betting on Garrett Cole right now. He's up against Gavin Williams here, also a first-rounder out of East Carolina, up and down, really, overall for the season. He has been blown up two of the last three times out, though, and now he's facing a Yankees lineup, number one overall for the full season, number one against righties. I think he's going to have a tough go of it. The Yankees did just win yesterday's game. Now they've scored 13 runs their last two, so out of that little mini slump, might be a good time to be buying on the Yankees, plus Cleveland's lost four of their last five here, guys. So low watermark, 55 cents on the Yankees. It's minus 155. Don't love it as a best bet. But hey, to get us off here, you know, during the work week, we're on the Yankees over the Guardians. Next one up, just a little bit south in our nation's capital, Colorado Rockies, Washington Nationals. Cal Quantrill on the hill for the Rocks. Pat Corbin, the lefty, going for the Nats. Minus 120, that's Washington as the home favorite. Total of eight in the hook. Now, we lost on this one yesterday, guys, but we did win game one. Washington comes in here with Patrick Corbin on the hill. He's got a six ERA for the season. He's absolutely fade city. I mean, his last four starts, 17 innings over four starts, 35 hits in those 17 innings. That's more than two hits per inning pitched the last four, 20 earned runs. This guy's been knocked all over the place. Now I get it. The Rockies lineup isn't the same outside of Colorado, but still I, I can't be betting on Patrick Corbin and Cal Quantrill here going for the Rockies. I mean, he's eight and eight. First rounder out of Stanford, eight wins, eight losses, four, five ERA. But for a Rockies pitcher, you know, come the month of August, that's actually not that bad. He did go up against the Nationals earlier this season in Colorado, six innings, three earned runs, five to one strikeout to walk ratio. So I like that past performance in Coors Field. The only thing is bet in Colorado, one, we bet on him yesterday and got mud on the face. But Cal Quantrill is actually better at home. You know, it's kind of funny, that situation. Some pitchers actually have better numbers in Coors Field. And obviously pitching for the Rockies, there's a little bit of, you know, something behind that. So I'm not really looking to bet him on, on him on the road. He has been blown up a couple times his last few road starts. So instead, guys, eight in the hook is the total. I mean, both of these bullpens have, have not been great at all. I mean, bottom five in MLB over the last two months. So I actually think this is a score fest here. I mean, day action. Let's go up and over eight and a half. I think this finishes, you know, seven to five, something of that nature. So it's the Rocks and the Nationals over in the other 105 Eastern start. A little bit later here, day action on the West Coast. It's the Tampa Bay Rays, Oakland A's. Osvaldo Beto on the hill for the Athletics. Shout out to Diego. Uh, comment in the last time he was around helping me with the pronunciation. Hopefully I got that for you, D Diego. But uh, so it's Oakland hosting the Tampa Bay Rays here. Jeffrey Springs going for the Rays. Minus a dollar and a quarter. That's the Rays is the road favorite. Seven and a half or eight being the total. The Rays are now a game over 500. They've won four straight. And actually I'm doing the video here, guys, Wednesday night. And they are up four to two in this one. So um. Oakland, look, 18 games under 500. I guess they are just one game under 500 at home. That could be a, a reason to be betting on them. And a better reason to be betting on them, in my opinion, is uh, Vito, the 6'3 Dominican pitcher, their starter here, back-to-back -back six innings blanking the opponent. That was against the Giants and the Blue Jays. He only gave up three hits total 
against those two lineups over 12 innings. He's a guy throwing 95, 96 miles per hour. So I think he's going to have a pretty good start here. And he's up against Springs, who's ha only had four starts year to date. The last two have been great. He went 10 innings, one earned run in each of them, 15 to one strikeout to walk ratio. So we actually get two hot pitchers in this one, guys. I was looking to get on the Rays here, you know, uh, playing some better baseball. But even more so, I, I mean, we do have two sports books dealing in eight as the total. The rest of them are in seven and a hook. And the last seven now Oakland Athletics games have gone under the total. So it's a big ballpark, you know, West Coast, two good pitchers on the hill. And the Rays bullpen has been dynamite. Actually, over the last five weeks, the number one bullpen whip across MLB. So we'll uh, find this eight, go under. Rays and Athletics in the day action on the West Coast in the Coliseum. Next one up, guys, we got uh, heading to the ATL here. Cobb County, Georgia, Philadelphia Phillies, Atlanta Braves. Schwellenbach on the hill for the Bravos. Christopher Sanchez, the lefty, going for the Phillies. Total of eight, near pick em price tag. It looks like the Braves, slight home favorites, laying the 10 cents, minus 110 here. The Braves actually enter this one seven games back of the Phillies. This is the game three of the set, so it's the rubber match. And Sanchez on the hill for the Phillies, the 27-year-old Dominican-born pitcher. He's been mostly good this year. He has been blown up two of the last four starts. That was against the Diamondbacks and the Yankees. This Braves lineup is pretty banged up, though, so I actually look for him to uh, have a pretty decent outing here. He's up against Schwellenbach, who's been surprising. Second-round pick out of Nebraska, the former Cornhusker, four ERA on the season. And he did have a decent start against Philly earlier this season, six innings, one earned run. Philadelphia is a lot better against lefties. Um, was looking to bet on him yesterday uh, against the lefty, and Max Freed uh, did so with success, three to two game. But in this one, they're up against – uh, a righty in Schwellenbach who has been pretty good, but I think Sanchez bounces back here, guys. I mean, I'm going back and forth on this one. This isn't going to be a best bet. I think it's a tough one, a fun one to watch, but uh, overall, I would say list Sanchez as the starter and go plus 100 here, the small dog on the Phillies. Got one game left. It's on the West Coast. If you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Drew Martin, Wagertalk.com, 5% max limit up and available for the Thursday night slate. Also, huge shout out to everybody commenting below. There is some questions. We'll answer them uh, in the next couple shows here. And uh, yeah, anything is welcome. What your MLB picks are. And please smash that like button if you're liking the content. All right, last game up. Petco Park, New York Mets, San Diego Padres, 940 Eastern, 640 local time. Luis Severino on the hill for the Metropolitans. Dylan Cease going for the Padres. Anywhere from minus 142 to as high as minus 160 right now in the overnight market. So a wide gap here, uh, obviously setting the price. I look at this one, guys, as uh, Dylan Cease on the hill. If you've been watching the show, we've been betting on him pretty much each and every time he goes out there. The 28-year-old out of Milton, Georgia, since early, actually since mid-July, his last seven starts, 39 innings, 48 strikeouts, 1.37 ERA. This guy has been lights out. Um, love betting on Cease. The Padres stay home off of winning two of three over the Minnesota Twins. They're, what, three and a half games back of the Dodgers. The Mets come in three straight series at home. If you remember what a week or two ago, the Mets went on that, you know, West Coast road trip all over the place actually a five city road trip. Well, they played three straight series at home, getting back in the mix. Now they're going across country, no off day for travel. Don't love the spot for the Mets, but Luis Severino, I mean, overall, it, it, you know, his last time out, he was up against the Marlins. He had a great start. I mean, he went nine innings, blanking them, four hits, shut out baseball, but that was against the Marlins. And he faced the Marlins three times this year and really dominated them in all three. If you go before the Marlins lineup, the three starts before that, they were actually ugly. He gave up more runs than innings completed. And now he's going up a, against a really good Padres offense, actually top three against righties. They've been pretty hot overall. I mean, the Padres have been one of the hottest teams in baseball, guys. And we get one of the best pitchers, in my opinion, with Dylan Cease. I'm not looking to step in front of the Padres. Don't love the travel spot for the Mets either. We get a total of seven. 
Minus 142 is the low water mark. Dylan Cease as the starter. Uh, not going to be a, a best bet because I don't love the price, the 42 cents. But let's go with the Padres in the uh, the late night slate over the Mets, minus 142. Uh, in recap, we got the Phillies, plus 100 over the Braves. We had the under eight in the Oakland A's, Tampa Bay Rays game. We get the New York Yankees, minus 155 over the Cleveland Guardians. And the Colorado Rockies, Washington Nationals. Hey, I know these uh, lineups aren't all that, but neither are the pitchers and neither are the bullpen. So we'll go best bet uh, early slate up and over the eight and a half Colorado Rockies, Washington Nationals game. So guys, that does it for the Thursday Drew's Daily Diamond. We'll be back on Friday. Come back and join us. Comment below. Smash that like button. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.